and the roots just grow. So the roots will sit right on the top of the inside of each tier. Hmm. So it's just, there's a pump in the base and that pump will run every 10 minutes or every 15 minutes for 10 minutes at a time. So the pump will bring up the water in the center and it'll trickle down like rainwater hitting each of these plants. So no weeding and you can grow in the winter. That's the two big benefits. Two big benefits and it yields three times as much. Add two more tiers to make, make it two more tall. Mm -hmm. A farm unit, so there's farms popping up all over, tower farms, and they do 11 tall. So they do even taller, but their farm units are a little bit different of a um, vertical tower garden. So, so then, it does that all 20, 24 hours a day? Yep, it pumps. yep. It, it will pump water all throughout the day because I have it just on a digital timer down here plugged in with the pump that's inside the base. And then the lights are on during the day as well. So lights, we usually run the lights, I think 14 hours a day is what we typically run them. I have ran them 18 hours a day. You do get faster growth. Some, some just run them 12 hours a day. So you can do a couple different options. Um, our seeds are planted in what you call a rock wool cube. So it's a mixture of rock and sand that's spun together just like cotton candy. And the seed will go in there so you don't use any soil at all. And then you will cover the seeds with vermiculite. So it's like an insulation that covers the seeds. It just helps keep that seed covered and it helps it germinate. So then each of these, I do have some, some of them just have clips. So they're in by a clip and the roots just hang in the, in the base of the system. So you can see this, how it's in, it just hangs there. Hmm. And the roots just grow. So the roots will sit right on the top of the inside of each tier. So if you get quite a heavy root. Um, you can grow everything in a tower garden but a root vegetable. So, and then we have in the inside, we use, I think my kids put that away already. Yeah, she did. <laughs> Bust them. So we have mineral blend that we put in the water, just like our soil has minerals in it outside. We use minerals in our tower garden that Tim Blank created for the tower garden use or for the minerals that are needed for the plants. We also check pH level of the water and the pH level helps keep it balanced so the plants stay nice and green as well. And we use LED lights so they don't get hot and they're not using as much electricity. So we don't, I usually run three tower gardens in all year round. A lot of times my two flex units will go out on the deck in the summertime and then we run all three in the wintertime all year round. So you plant in the summer too? Yep. Yep. You know. Yep. I always leave the, this one's a home unit so it's a 13 gallon base. It's smaller. Um, and it has a microgreens attachment, but I always run herbs and lettuces in this all year round inside. Because I like to have my lettuce not have bugs. I had tree frogs in my lettuce one time and it was the last time I grew lettuce outside. <laughs> <laughs> so I always grow my greens and herbs inside. Now you can hear the pump just turned on. So it's trickling the water down. But our windows are made to not let the block that. So I have two or three friends that run them in the basement. It's just cooler in the basement, so sometimes they'll either have some So I see you have it out here where there's even sunlight coming in. Could you use this in a basement? You can use it in, in a basement, basement. yes. So I don't think, so the LED lights is what's really is helping the plants grow. It's not so much the sunlight. But the sunlight coming in is probably helping the sunlight grow up there versus the bigger spots. So I do a lot of herbs up top just because they're closer. So and then when they're only getting so tall, I clip them. So okay. When you're growing shorter plants with the microgreens, like kale, herbs, or different varieties, when you're clipping them shorter, you're you got more packed nutrients in those smaller plants. And they're not growing very big. I do have a bunch of celery up here and I'm gonna let that, that grow pretty tall. Okay. But it's a nice, so a lot of times my microgreens, I'll start my plants up here and then I bump them down oh. and move them around. Okay. What temp would you consider too cool? 
So when we get down to like negative 20 outside, yeah. our entryway is not heated, either is our laundry room. We don't, okay. or our oh. entryway is not heated. So that gets super cool in there. I don't know, I don't never check the temp okay. on how cold it gets. It's not like our door is freezing or anything, but it's just, I would say basement cool. Like if you, you guys got a basement, mm -hmm. does it get pretty cool in the basement? See, our my basement doesn't. Our basement doesn't get about a thousand. So with lights, everything to get you growing is about a thousand. And you can do, they do pay in full or you can do like a pay monthly. Okay. Pay monthly I think runs about 80 a month. 180 for the first month and then 80 a month for 11 more months. So they do have a payment plan too. Okay. Oh, yeah. I thought you had to use growing lights, but these are just LED lights? Those are just LED lights. And they grow just as good they as just, a... They grow just as good. There is, like, people do strawberry plants, and I have a couple friends that have a full tower in strawberries, and they have a different type of grow light. I don't know if it's a... I can't think of what the grow light is called, because it's not LED, it's not this color. It's, like, almost purplish. I've only seen pictures of it, but... She goes, some plants like different lights. lights. Yeah. Hmm. And, and you buy the lights from the company, whether it's these LED yeah. or... The other lights, ones. you buy them just from Menards or Home And they'll Eagle. plug into this? These, they, any extra lights that you get outside of these lights will have to be plugged in, not attached. They won't be attached to this. They usually set them or... What about flowers? Can you grow? Yep. She said yep. that. She I missed that part. Yep. So I, I don't remember what I planted here, but I see I got buds coming. So I think it's chamomile, but oh. I've never grown chamomile before. So it, I always try something new, Yeah. but I have grown zinnias are really pretty because all our marigolds I grow because they don't, there's bugs that don't like it and yeah. then they stay away from it. But I like growing one flower in them because it's nice seeing that in the winter yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So no weeding and you can grow in the winter. That's the two big benefits. Two big benefits. And it yields three times as much. So you're you're growing. So what I grow, like my kale plants could last a full year in there if I or a full six months in one plant can last six months if I'm just growing and clipping off. As long as you don't clip it off too short from the regrowth. Same with lettuce. I could grow lettuce for about 16 week period. As, just let it grow just don't clip it off too short so it stops growing but um and it doesn't get that bittery it will if it bolts so you just got to watch to make sure it's not bolting once it starts bolting and they'll get a little bitter but lettuce is an easy one and it grows super fast like you can grow lettuce within five weeks so it takes about a five week period to grow a plant herbs are a little bit they take a little bit longer mm -hmm. celery takes longer so those i planted probably a couple weeks ago that takes a little bit longer. And some of these I got stunted because I had a couple seeds. I always plant two or three seeds and then I'll split them and then separate them. Sometimes they get stunt when I split them. Okay. But I'm not always planting new seeds. I'm just breaking them off from what they are. It's like insulation. It does. <laughs> I can't get my mind around that. <laughs> I had a kid because as soon as I- What did I, you call it? It's, rock wool a rock wool cube so it's a mixture of rock and sand and they spin it together just like they make cotton candy that's how they make these and i had because i have 50 tower gardens in the tower or in the public school systems and i go in and talk to the school schools and classes i had one kid take a bite out of one and i'm like that is not cotton candy <laughs> yeah <laughs> he goes it doesn't taste like it <laughs> Here, the only time you'll lift this off is if you were to clean it how often do you have to clean it I only clean mine twice a year. So I'll clean them when I bring them in from the summer and then I'll clean them when I take them out to go up back out. So I only clean them twice a year. If they look really bad, like my well water is hard water, so I might clean it three times a year, but I've been soaking them in citric acid. It wipes, it wipes completely clean. This used to look completely yellow at the bottom, but okay. I soak them in citric acid and they clean very easy. How often do you have to add water? Mm, probably monthly. 
So in the beginning, when there's not as many roots in there, because the roots is what hangs on to that water, when the roots start getting bigger, you might have to add water more frequently, but I would say monthly or every other month, roughly. And I usually just, I have a five gallon bucket in the house and I'll just haul it and then fill it up when I see that it's getting lower. You just never want your water to run below that pump because then it's, that pump will stop working. How long does the pump run for? I think it's 10 minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes run time. Every 45 minutes. Every 45 minutes. It's not that loud, it's pretty quiet. It is. I like the lights in the winter time because when we're lacking sun, I don't feel we get that, you know, mm. 